Hello space fans, it's your friendly space communicator star, back to share the latest in space news. And today, we have a special guest, the rising star of the science journalism, reporter Su Bin Shin. Welcome! Rising star, yes. thank you. I'm super excited to chat about the hottest space issue of 2024 with everyone here. I hear you have some fascinating stories lined up. Oh, definitely. I'm already pumped to get started. So shall we dive into the top five space stories of 2024? Sure. Yes. Coming up number five, first civilian spacewalk success. On September 12, Space Explorer's Dawn mission made history by completing the first civilian spacewalk. With billionaire Jared Eisenman and SpaceX engineer Sarah Gillis, the mission achieved the risky feat 700 km above Earth, which is higher than the International Space Station. They used the SpaceX Next Generation spacesuit designed to be lighter and more flexible. A huge step forward, right? Absolutely. These new suits make spacewalking feel much more accessible, and it makes you wonder if one day we might get to go to space ourselves. What do you think, Star? Will we get any chance to float in space? Oh, I'd love to. Can you imagine taking a selfie in a space? That will be beyond epic. What about you, Subin? I'm definitely in. A selfie overlooking Earth from space? Yes, please. <laughs> Speaking of dreams, let's move to the next story. Now at number 4, a story I'm super excited about. Big advancements in reusable rocket technology. SpaceX succeeded in Starship 4 launching and this time they successfully recovered the booster. Did you see the footage? It was mind-blowing. It was amazing, right? Recovering a booster from the space is like a threading a needle in the space. Elon Musk even called this technology essential for the democratization of space. And guess what? This success has sparked a new effort in Korea too. Exactly. Inspired by SpaceX's success, Korea's Aerospace Administration recently held discussions with companies like HANA Aerospace on the future of reusable rockets. They discussed the innovative reusable projectile project at this public hearing. And Korea's goal is to research and develop reusable projectiles like SpaceX. This makes the future feel so real. So if Korea could recover its own rocket, what impact do you think it will be? Well, that would be huge, I think. We could see Korea becoming a major player in space tech, like SpaceX in the US. What do you think? I see space hotels opening in Korea within a decade, right? So save the date, everyone! Moving to number 3, Hanwha system successfully launched a SAR satellite on April 8th. This high-tech satellite launched from the Kennedy Space Center on a Falcon 9 rocket boosts our nation defense capabilities. Until now, only a few countries like the US, Japan, and EU had this technology. It's amazing. This satellite can monitor the Earth regardless of day, night, or weather conditions. It's like having a CCTV in space, don't you think? Yes, perfect description. Now we can keep an eye on even the smallest movement on Earth. How do you think this will impact our daily lives? Uh, well, I think it could help with things like natural disaster prediction and defense. I'm hoping it will let us track global environmental changes in real time and support more environmental initiatives. At number 2, a long-awaited milestone. Korea now has its own space agency. The Korea Aerospace Administration, or CASA, has officially launched. This means Korea is joining the ranks of space giants with its own independent agency, like NASA in the US or JAXA in Japan. Right. First director Yong Bin Yoon even highlighted supporting private space development as a priority. So we could see companies like HANA Aerospace playing a bigger role soon. This has been a long time coming. CASA is expected to support everything from research to satellite launches and even human space exploration. Right, right. How do you think CASA's launch will impact Korea's space industry? 
I think Korea is now set to become a leader not only in space exploration, but also in commercial space development. What about you, Subit? I can totally see Korea launching its own satellites and maybe even exploring the moon someday. Right. It's an exciting step for us to join the global space race. Finally, at number one, China's Chang'e 6 mission successfully returned the samples from the far side of the moon. On June 25th, Chang'e 6 retrieved about 2 kg of lunar material from the South Pole Aiken Basin. This could unlock clues about the moon's origins and the history about the solar system. The China National Space Administration even announced that they will share the samples with researchers worldwide. Subin, could this sample mean anything to Korean research teams? Uh, absolutely. Korean researchers could benefit greatly from this new data, enabling new lunar research possibilities. What are you most excited about? I think the sample could inspire Korea's own moon exploration plans. Someday, we might even bring back our lunar samples ourselves. And that wraps up the biggest space stories of 2024. Which one left the biggest impressions on you? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time, same space channel and same space time.